Hey guys, it's Freya, your impulsive, spontaneous, delusional concert girl. Um, somebody said that on my TikTok and I thought it was hilarious. But anyways, um, welcome back to another video or welcome if this is your first time seeing me. Um, if this is your first time seeing me, one of the things I do besides vlog, all the concerts I go to is I make an everything you need to know kind of series for every time BTS does anything in the States and that includes solo members. So Yoongi Tour is like quickly approaching and we are going to be talking about that today. Um, my voice is a little bit raspy because I have a cold right now. Um, I say that as I have wet hair, but ignore that. <laughs> but anyways, uh, today we're gonna be talking about GA floor the pit vip you get the drift but um we're gonna be talking about all of my tips and tricks and just talking about general admission um since the floor is general admission if you want to watch about getting tickets or um about resale i'll link everything i've made so far down below which is me getting tickets and also i made a video on resale tickets uh, for Yoongi and my next video will be specific to every single venue and everything you need to know for every single city every single venue So it's easier for everybody. Um, I do that for Everything I did that for PT LA PT Vegas and Hobie Palooza and so I'll do that for all of Yoongi stops um, I will make an announcement right now that I am no longer going to Oakland. I am only going to LA um, the reason for that is that I will be going to LA the uh, for the shows on May 10th, 11th, and 14th. And Oakland was um, the 16th and 17th, but I also have a show that I'm going to for Muna in Denver on the 19th. And then I am uh, gonna be in Head in the Clouds, New York on the 20th and the 21st. And then I'm spending the day, the 22nd, um, in New York to celebrate Mo's birthday. So it's my best friend's birthday. Um, and we'll be spending it in the city. Um, if I went to Oakland, I wouldn't be home for two weeks. And I really, number one, I don't want to do that to my dog. Number two, I don't think my body could handle that. And number three, um, although I can work remote, I would like to go in the office at least a few times a week. So um, those are just kind of my reasoning. Um, it did hurt to sell my tickets, but I did it. I did it. And then um, the person that bought me a ticket for Oakland, I am so sad to give it back, but I am giving it back and I hope it goes to somebody that needs a ticket um, or themselves or whatever. Um, somebody gave me a ticket for Oakland day one and I was so excited to meet them, but unfortunately I just, with the timeline, I don't think it is feasible for me to uh, make Oakland work. So. Either way, I'm still going to three shows, so I'm super excited. And if you are going to LA and you see me, please come say hi. I am so, so excited. You know Yoongi is like the most important person in the world for me. So um, I'm so excited for these shows. But let's get straight into it because there's a lot of information. Um, I got a lot of questions about general admission, the fact that the floor is a GA floor or what people call a pit. Um, and... General admission just means that it's first come, first serve, if you don't know. Um, I'm not gonna be talking about the seats in the hundreds and two hundreds section because um, if you have a seat, you just go to your seat. It's not as complicated, I guess. Um, but this video is gonna be strictly about the GA. Um, if you wanna know about specific venue rules, policies, everything you need to know, getting there, all that stuff. That'll be my next video. I'll be doing it for every uh, stop, like I said. And um, the whole floor on every show in Yoongi's tour is VIP. And it is general admission, like I said. Um, most of the venues I checked, uh, give or take, has a floor capacity of 3,500. Um, I think the forum, like I'm pretty sure the forum sold all like the tickets at capacity. I don't know about the other venues. I just know the forum because I got information about it, but um, it is give or take 3,500. They might've sold a little bit less than that or whatever, but be prepared for thousands of people on the floor. 
Um, and there hasn't been times released for check-in um, or VIP or anything like that. If it does get released, I will include it in my next video where I talk about everything you need to know for all the stops. Um, but right now, all we know is that it is VIP. VIP includes sound check and um, the capacity is 3,500 or under for these floor um, tickets that were sold at every single venue. Um, I guess we'll jump into the elephant in the room and that is camping. With a general admission floor, there's a very popular thing to do and that's to camp out for um, your spot, I guess. Uh, people may camp and I'm very neutral about camping. People have very um, strong opinions, especially, you know, when you look at Twitter and TikTok and stuff, people are like, everybody that camps sucks. And then people are like, camping is everything. And I'm just like, honestly, I don't care. Um, I used to be a camping girly because I didn't get into K-pop until five years ago. So um, yeah, I'm very neutral about camping. Um, I used to be a camping girly. I used to follow the 1975 around the country and they are one of the biggest camping bands. So like before, like I think after COVID, everybody started camping. It became kind of normalized, especially around like Harry Styles and like things like that. Things became more and more normal for camping. Um, camping was a little less extreme uh, before COVID and popular bands that had people camping were bands like the 1975, a lot of people camped for. Um, and then I know there was, a, I wasn't a 21 Pilots fan, but I know they had a huge camping community and things like that. And I honestly don't care. I am very neutral about the subject. I think if you want to camp, camp. If you don't, you don't. It's not really as deep as everybody says it is. Um, and people who never camped are the ones with really strong opinions, usually, uh, because they're upset that people are waiting there for days. A lot of times they're upset because they can't wait there for days, and that is absolutely okay. I understand it might be frustrating, especially if you're younger. Um, I've seen that a lot where people are younger, they their parents can't, they're in school, whatever, you have a job, whatever it is, it's literally fine. But people who can't make it work, and people who think camping is awful are people that have never done it. And there's always that um, thing where they're like, everybody stinks. People stink if they want to. I have camped and you leave to go shower. It's very, very simple. So this is how camping works. People stay overnight, um, sometimes days. Um, I know that people were camping like weeks for like Harry Styles and shit, but um, I don't know how many amount of days sometimes, but usually it's just overnight and a lot of people take shifts. Um, you like try to make a group. Usually people usually do it in groups and not individuals. So say there's a group of five, you guys take turns to pee, to eat, to go freshen up, things like that. Um, and then the day of the show, usually uh, the venue will hand out an official wristband with your place in line. And that is your place in line officially. So then you you can leave. This is where people shower, get ready, make themselves look good, all that stuff. And then um, there's a time for you to check back in with that official wristband. You line up in number order and then you go inside in that order. Um, it's very, very simple. And like I said, there hasn't been check-in times or anything for um, the for all the venues. So I will be um, talking about checking in and official wristband times and stuff in my next video. But that is how camping works. I am not here to tell you whether to camp or not. I have no idea if people are gonna camp um, or not. But if you do camp, just make sure that you are prepared. And also if you see people camping, they're camping. I personally have the belief that if somebody is camping and they're there for a long time and they're there first, they deserve that spot. That's my personal belief. Um, if you are camping, then like the longer you wait, the further up you should be. That's my personal opinion. I will say that every single venue that Yoongi is going to has said that camping is not allowed. A lot of times people do it anyways. Whether the venue will then 
honor the camping line is hit, hit or miss. They do most of the times. They don't sometimes. So that official wristband number, sometimes they will, like people who have been camping will number themselves and then they'll give those people the numbers that they have um, and honor their numbering um, day of when it's time for the official line or sometimes they won't and it's a free for all and they will just give it to whoever comes to that spot where they're giving wristbands first. And um, I know that creates chaos, a lot of things like that, but I don't know. But whatever your opinion on camping is, just be nice to each other. It literally is not that deep. It is not that deep. I, again, think that if you wanna camp, camp. If you don't, you don't. Um, just be happy with where you are. Be happy that you're even there. Like, it's not that deep. Um, and also, I know that I'm going to get this question, will I camp? I don't know. I literally have no idea because I don't know what my plan in LA is yet. I may be doing some business stuff. Um, I may be, and I'm going to all three shows and I don't know how that's going to work. Um, I am playing it by ear. I am just having a good time and I don't think it is that deep <laughs> so um yeah again I personally believe if you can't you deserve that spot if you um and I don't know like if you don't camp then that's okay I don't think that everybody needs to be barricade I love the barricade I've always been a barricade girly like I said I've camped before I've used to camp all the time but um, I'm old and also it's not that deep and Yoongi is not gonna fall in love with you from the barricade no offense but anyways if you camp things you'll need is definitely blankets and pillows some people use tents um I haven't used a tent in a very long time I also haven't really camped camped in a very long time but um like your own discretion some people use tents I know that it gets windy and stuff it's probably easier to sleep uh, it's just harder when you have to move around because sometimes when you camp you have to move from certain places um, in order for it to be because like sometimes they make you move off the premises if there's other shows going on or um, the cops will tell you to move you can't camp here you have to camp over there whatever just keep that in mind if you do use a tent um, you'll definitely need some portable chargers um, you'll need a water supply so a bunch of water bottles food supplies snacks and stuff to bring and also dress in layers a lot of these places are hotter in the day and colder at night it is gonna be the summertime but be prepared so I always like I always wear like shorts under sweats under like with a t-shirt with a hoodie and then a jacket if it gets super cold and I wear like socks like two pairs of socks and so things that you can take off and put back on depending on how cold or hot it gets um and then bring things to do you're gonna be there for hours and you're not gonna always want to use your phone because honestly um, I love TikTok and like watching stuff on my phone, but sometimes I'm like, my brain hurts. Um, bring a card game, knit, I don't know, whatever it is that you like to do, bring something to do. Um, things to prepare for, like I said, it's summer, so it's gonna be hot during the day. Uh, umbrellas, shade, hats, things like that. Um, and then some major cities have curfew. Now, this is one of the most important things if you do decide to camp. Again, I'm not telling you to camp or not, but just be aware of the rules and the laws a lot of major cities have curfew where i live there's a curfew and um you can get in trouble by sleeping on the street there's like some laws a lot of it is placed because of the homeless population um which i will not get into how i think it's wrong but anyways um but it then ends up applying to people who are camping for shows um and I also won't be talking about how the discourse, how people think that camping for shows is wrong because it mimics the unhoused. Um, I don't necessarily think that's true. I do think that if you are inhabiting a space that is usually where people call home, don't fucking do it. If you are inhabiting a space where you see that people are there and sleeping and that is their home, move. But other than that, I don't think that this is like mimicking the unhoused or like, you know, stuff that people have said on TikTok and things. Um, I do think that number one, you need to be aware of your surroundings. 
don't impose yourself. You don't have to be there. There are some people that do, you know? And then also there are curfews in place, like I said, um, and you could get in trouble for sleeping on the street by the police. So be careful of that, especially minors. A lot of major cities have minor curfews. So if you're under the age of 18, um, certain times like here where I live, after midnight, you're not supposed to be out on weekdays. So um, if you're camping and stuff, you could get in trouble because you're a minor. I also, if you're a minor, don't camp. I don't know what to tell you. Like, just don't do it. Um, anyways, um, and then if you are out there all day, uh, kind of be aware of bathroom locations. Um, check around the venue uh, for cafes, grocery stores, convenience stores, things with a bathroom. Uh, be prepared to have to spend whenever you walk in there. A lot of places, like when I have camped before, they'll be like, yeah, you can pee here, but every time you pee here, you gotta buy something. So like I buy candy and some water or something like every time I walk in, but you do have to spend money every time you walk in and try to pee. Um, also make sure you pee before all those places close. A lot of people forget that places around them close. And so it's midnight and you have to pee and all of the convenience stores and things have shut down unless it's 24 hours. Um, so check the times if it is 24 hours or not, um, how far it is, if it's walking distance. And also um, just make sure you know your surroundings. Um, have a set plan with a group if you are um, going to be camping um, so you can set up shifts so it's fair for everyone. When I camp, usually if I was like in school or, you know, I work remote, I'll be like, okay, um, somebody take the shift, like say there's four of us and I'll be like, okay, two people take their shift, me and this person who also has school, like I have work and this person has school, we're going to go sit in the cafe for four hours and do our work. And then after that, we'll come back and you guys can go back to like the hotel and, uh, freshen up and stuff so like it's fair for everybody it depends on whatever you have to set the set plan with the group making sure that you guys are making it fair and also everybody knows what's going on um and a pro tip is to have a hotel nearby that's always the best thing so um when you can leave the line and you know have shower and stuff every day if you want to i like to shower every day so Anyways, but that's all I'm going to say about camping. Again, I don't know what people's plans are. I'm sure people are going to camp. I really, I could not tell you. My best advice is if you are going to camp, don't do it for more than one day. It's usually not that fucking worth it. Um, but I'm not your mom. I can't tell you what you do. Uh, just, I say if you're a minor, don't camp. Don't do it for more than a day. And um, be prepared if you are going to do it. Also, be prepared for a lot of hate. Um, when I camp, I don't really say anything online because I know people are really upset about things um, all the time. I think it's stupid. I really do. I think it's not that big of a deal. If you want to camp, then camp. If you don't, then don't. Um, there is no bad place in this venue. I swear. Like, anywhere in that pit is going to be good. So, and also... I feel like Yoongi's gonna be like the type to not interact that much. So if you're and if you're even there for just interactions, get a fucking grip on yourself. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Um, but yeah, again, camp or don't, just be smart, be vigilant, uh, be prepared, and also just know your limits, your body. I think the main thing, my main concern for people who camp and stuff is if you're not built for it don't do it like that's it's that simple moving on to general admission general admission tips okay a lot of k-pop stands have a very skewed idea of concerts especially general admission concerts i already talked about the whole camping thing camping the fact that a lot of people are mad about camping is very unrealistic in the real concert world. This is coming from like the concert girl, okay? I'm not, I am not only a veteran with K-pop concerts. I've been going to concerts my whole life. I've gone to hardcore like emo concerts to like big pop acts and stadiums. I have done it all. And a lot of the K-pop 
idea of a concert is so skewed. Everybody always talks about concert etiquette. And yes, I do think take care of the people around you. It's an unspoken like rule to take care of the people around you. Don't hurt each other. Like be kind to everybody. But at the same time, nobody owes you that spot. I think a lot of people are like, don't push. Don't push. I was there first. And I'm like, you have to know how to hold your ground. And you have to know how to hold yourself up. And you have to know how to hold yourself together. Nobody else is responsible for you. I do think that everybody needs to make sure safety is first. But being a person that goes to like a lot of concerts. And like I said, I was an emo girl for a long time. I've been to things like Warped Tour. And I've been to pop punk shows where people are moshing and stuff. Nobody's there to hurt anybody. But you also have to know how to hold yourself together. This concert etiquette of like, you think that you're going to go into a pit and everybody's going to stand there pretty and nobody's going to push and everybody is very unrealistic for a real concert. So first of all, I need everybody to wipe in their head that there's not going to be pushing. There will be pushing and we'll get into that. Um, first of all, eat before the show. A lot of people forget to eat um, because of like anxiety, adrenaline, and pass out during the show. You don't want to miss this. So please eat before the show. Also drink lots of water prior to getting inside and slow down right before. You're not going to be able to leave the spot that you have if you want to keep the spot that you have. If you're second row and then you leave, nobody's going to let you back in. So just, you know, slow down, like drink lots of water throughout the day before the doors open, slow down, pee one last time, and then when you're in there, you're in there. Don't lose your spot. Um, don't leave and come back. Don't think that anybody owes you that. This is another thing about the concert etiquette. If you leave that spot, that is not your spot. There's no written rule. There's no like imaginary rule that if you had that spot and then you had to leave and you're going to come back. That is not how concerts general admission works. Some people do that, but it's just nobody has to give you that spot back. So just be aware of that. I say, you know, get there and stay there. And then if you're short, it'll be harder to see in the middle of the pit. If you're short, the best view is always going to be in the very front. So first like three rows or in the very, very back. Um, so I suggest if you're under five, four, which I am too, but like very front or very back. Um, people will push, like I said, be nice to everybody, but when it's just like human nature, you see Yoongi, he comes out, everybody gets excited and the whole crowd goes like this. That is so normal. If you can't handle pushing, don't be in the pit, go to the back. There's going to be lots of room. Um, if you are in the pit, stand your ground, move with the crowd and don't get hurt. If you move with the crowd, you won't get hurt, but know how to stand your ground. It's very like strategic, honestly. Um, I just have years and years of experience on this, but yeah. And I know that I might be sounding harsh throughout this whole camping and journal admission thing, but I just want to be completely honest with you. This is how concerts work. And I just think that this idea, like, there's this like fantasy land that a lot of K-pop stands have with how concerts should work. And sure, maybe they should be like that. I don't know. But um, a lot of the times it's not. And nobody owes you the spot that you left. Nobody, um, you know, people shouldn't be like shoving each other or whatever. But pushing is going to happen. You know, moving is going to happen. Just be nice, stand your ground, move with the crowd, like I said. If you can't do crowds, if you're anxious, if you're short and you want a better view, go to the back. It's literally not a bad thing. A lot of people are like, I don't want to be in the back of the pit. I don't want to be in the Why? It, some of my favorite moments of pit concerts are in the back of the pit. Like jumping up and down, or like screaming the words, dancing around with your uh, friends is like some of the best parts. I'm going to insert a clip of me having the time of my life in the back of a pit concert with just all my friends that I've known for like a decade and we're just like jumping up and down screaming. Okay. So you see that? You see how fun that is? It's okay if you're not in the very front. I think people are like, I am going to be barricade. Okay. You can try. But if you can't, 
it's okay. Like it's literally okay. Um, and then safety first, always. If you don't feel good, if you can't stand it, if you feel like you're gonna pass out, get out. If you're already in the pit and you can't continue, get a security guard's attention. Have your friend get a security guard's attention. They will pull you out. And then you can just go to the back of the pit. They'll check on you. They'll make sure you're okay. Just be like, I wasn't feeling good in there. I just need to go to the back of the pit. Um, they'll help you get to the back. It's literally fine. And then um, being close is fun. But again, some of my favorite moments at a concert is in the back. Um, and so, yeah, that is everything I have to say about pit concerts, about general admission. Um, if you guys have any questions, put it down below. Sorry if I was being harsh about, you know, people's fantasy ideas and also about the fact that camping is literally normal. Um, but I have very strong opinions because I've been in this world since I was 11 years old. I have not, besides like the span of COVID where nothing was happening in the world, I have not gone a month without going to a concert in a decade, in over a decade. And I don't know, like, there is just these ideas that people have and things that are unrealistic when put into practice. So just be safe have fun, and it's okay no matter where you are in that arena. Um, it, I think concerts, a big part of concerts and having fun is your own attitude towards it. Because I could be at the barricade and miserable, or I could be up in the 200 section and having the time of my life, and it's the energy that I put forth into that concert. And so I think everybody should keep that in mind. Again, if you guys have any questions, leave it down below. If you guys have any tips for anybody, also leave it down below. Um, anything I miss so we can help each other out and I will be um, answering everybody's questions um, so we can have like a discussion down there and everything. My next video, like I said, is going to be a comprehensive everything you need to know for every single stop. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys next time. Please like, subscribe and comment down below. Bye.